Today we'll be crafting the oath rune word for weapons, which is shell, pool, mal, loom. This is sort of a beginner rune word for a frenzy barbarian with a bunch of useful stats on it, like prevent monster heal, which will help you keep the more powerful enemies HP at bay when you need to quickly retreat to heal up, plus 100 attack rating against demons and plus 75% enhanced damage against demons. All the bosses in the game and a lot of regular monsters you will be fighting are demons, so this will surely come in handy in those situations. The bone spirit cast chance on striking causes magic damage and at level 20 this is quite significant as well, between 380 and 413. The chance of this is also quite high, at 30%, and add this to your insane attack speed when you are in frenzy and you'll be shooting these left and right, especially if you manage to craft uh, two of these oath rune words and you will be dual wielding them of course. The plus 10 to 15 magic absorb is something that you will find useful in the background but not necessarily so overpowered that you will notice it all the time, so nonetheless it is nice to have but you won't be sad if this rolls on the lower end of the spectrum. Plus 10 energy is meh, absolutely not important to have for a barbarian, but since you will never put a single point into energy, it's a nice quality of life improvement, although when you can craft this weapon you'll probably have enough mana and mana leech on your gear anyway to never really run out of it, except when facing enemies with mana burn of course, but like I said, it's not important to have, but it's better than nothing. Plus 50 increased attack speed makes you want to put this into a weapon with a high base attack speed, but also preferably one with a high maximum damage. The Baroque Blade specifically fills this slot perfectly as it has a fast attack speed on its own, with a relatively high one-hand damage for the barbarian. Yes, barbarians can wield two-handed swords as one-handers, but you've probably known this if you are playing a barb anyway. Heart of the Wolverine and Iron Golem charges are something that you can play around with, and they will definitely contribute to your overall damage when summoned, but I just don't like too many allies running around me, so I'll rarely use them. If I'd love these mechanics, I'd probably be playing a necromancer or a summoner druid. This rune word also comes with a built-in indestructible mod, which leads to our final conclusion. Ideally, you'd want a perfectly rolled superior and ethereal baroque blade with 4 open sockets on it to have the maximum possible damage. Now, the chance of finding something like this is not as common as you'd like it to be. You can of course trade for one, but since this will be a weapon that you'll eventually grow out of and transition ideally into dual griefs, it's probably not the most important thing to aim for. My take on this is that yes, I could dump a couple hundred hours into finding this elusive rune word base item sometime in the future, but even then it can happen that the enhanced damage on the rune word will roll on the lower end of the spectrum instead of around the maximum, leaving a bitter taste in my mouth. In my opinion, Diablo 2 is about gradual progression and getting more and more effective at the game as time goes on, so if I take this into consideration, if I can have this rune word now in a regular Barrog Blade and then expedite my farming speed thanks to this, I gladly make this instead of farming ineffectively for days or weeks on end until I find the perfect base item for it only to craft it and then possibly have a bad roll on damage. So to each their own, that's just my take on this. And now let's see what version of Oath I ended up with. I leave some footage of how my clearing speed improved at the end, so feel free to watch that if you'd like to help this video ranking higher on YouTube, but the informative part of the video has concluded. Thank you so much for watching this and I'll catch you all next time.